Hi, this is Dr. Ronnie Bannock, and on today's Migraine Minute, I wanted to talk to you about something which is a very difficult topic for many people with migraine to deal with, and that is changes in the weather. Now, it's been estimated that up to one-third of people who have migraines have worsening symptoms with significant changes in weather. It may be sudden rises in temperature or humidity, or a sudden drop in temperature or humidity. It may be a storm system coming through. It may be strong wind gusts, or it may even be a change in altitude with, with weather changes. But, uh, but many of these natural phenomena, which we cannot control, can significantly affect our threshold for migraines. And um, in terms of why that happens, it's not clearly understood. Um, it's hypothesized that the barometric air pressure or the pressure of air on us and on our bodies um, raises um, pressure within our sinuses and within the ears, which are quite sensitive, and then that in turn can cause changes in blood vessels. It can potentially uh, cause blood vessels to dilate, and then that may uh, lead to the sequence of headache and other migraine symptoms. Um, it's actually been shown in some studies that there is a positive association of weather changes with um, severity of migraine and migraine pain. So the question is, um, given that these changes happen uh, commonly, it's something that we can't control, what can you do to, uh, to try to uh, mediate some of those changes and decrease your symptoms? So, um, so you know, it's impossible to change the weather, but I do have some patients who do um, try to regulate their uh, environments indoors. So for example, if it's quite hot and humid outside, um, staying in an air-conditioned environment with, try with uh, low humidity, perhaps even having a dehumidifier in the room may help. Uh, or the opposite, if it's actually um, quite dry outside and, um, and it's cold and dry, it may be uh, worthwhile to increase the temperature, keep it even, and perhaps add a humidifier in the room. Um, so those are some, some tips that some of my patients have tried and, and I may work for some, may not work for others, so it's something you can try as well. The other thing I would recommend is just trying to keep everything very constant and even in your, in your lifestyle uh, when you anticipate weather changes coming, coming about. So for example, make sure that you eat on a regular basis, that you're not skipping meals. Make sure that you're very, very well hydrated, um, especially in extremes of temperature. And uh, again, try to stay indoors, and that's probably the best way to try to try to regulate the environment around you during these um, these weather changes. So, uh, the, so those are my tips for today's migraine minute. Um, if you enjoy this episode, please feel free to like and share this. Uh, share it with friends or family members who are also um, suffering from migraines. And um, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks so much for listening.